days without water and long the sun so grow We cross over borders to get where we are Oh, did you see that mess behind me? Probably We'll just excuse that. I mean, I've just been filming all morning some Instagram reels and stuff. Honestly, the mess that you make from filming a reel or filming a haul is pretty ridiculous. I'm just gonna pop out super sunny outside today. Hello, firstly, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are well. I'm just gonna brighten this up a bit because I feel like we're a bit dark. There we go. Um, today is a brand new month. Woo! -hoo! We are in April. Welcome to the new month. As I mentioned in my previous Hello March vlog, I want to kind of continue these on at the start of every month, my first kind of video into the month to just kind of introduce the month, let you know some monthly favorites from the previous month, have a bit of a organize day, start a brand new month, just get stuff done. Bit of a reset type day, but anyway, I am gonna head out. I'm just popping on some of my perfume, and most from Cardamom, Jo Malone, honestly. This is my, I would say, spring scent. This and Basil and Neroli that they do are probably my favorites. So I'm gonna head out, first time I've been here, from this one, which is in Nutsford. I'm going to a Neptune home, which if you don't know what Neptune is, it's one of those shops that I quite often like to do dupes from because it's quite high end, it's quite luxe. They do some amazing kitchens, of which I'm definitely keeping in mind as inspo for our future kitchen that we are um, gonna be building soon. So I'm gonna go have a look around, I called up, they're dog friendly, which is music to my ears. I'm gonna go for maybe a lunch in the sun with Barney, just the two of us, mother Sunday. And just for new viewers, when I say mother and Sunday, he is my fur baby, not my actual son. I don't have kids just yet. But yeah, um, we're gonna go have a little trip out. I just need a bit of a breather from doing all the filming this morning. So I'm gonna do that, head back, show you anything that I do pick up if I do, or just show you what's new in stores. And then I am going to tackle this afternoon the under the sink cupboard, the dreaded under the sink cupboard. I'm not kidding you when I say it's full to the brim of cloths, uh, dishmatics, minkies, cleaning products, and I just wanna have a real organized declutter through because I only ever use the ones that are right at the front. So all those amazing ones that are at the back that are there, I don't even know that they're there. So I'm gonna be ruthless and actually just get rid of like half used bottles, any that I've got duplications of, just give to friends and family because um, obviously I work with brands like Cherries where I'm constantly getting my hands on brand new cleaning products. I do B&M and home bargains hauls a lot. So I get an accumulation of more cleaning products than the average human being, okay? Probably even more so than Mrs. Hinch. Well, actually, maybe not, that's a lie. But yeah, I'm gonna have a big organize of that. I'm gonna do a couple of other areas within the kitchen as well. So I guess today's focus is mainly on having a bit of a sort out through the kitchen. I guess it's kind of apt that I'm going to Neptune, seeing as though they are the best at kitchen designs. Oh, can't wait to go and have a browse there. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoy my Hello April start of a brand new month of vlog. Make sure you're comfy, relax, sit back, put your feet up as always, grab a mug and fill it with your favorite cozy drink. Let's get on the road and head to Neptune. Hello little pooch, 
Can you hear all them builders making noises downstairs? <laughs> He's like, what is this camera in my face? Get it out. <laughs> anyway, this is the state of the kitchen currently. I thought I would give you a bit of a before before I get going with a sort out, a clear out and an organize. So if we start on this side here, we have what I like to call Barney's station with obviously all of his leads and collars and treats and everything. So that needs just a bit of a, an organize and a clear out and ideally I want that to be all hidden within this cupboard here at the bottom. However, this is already full of stuff. Just got a load of items that again just need organizing and sorting out. Then on this side we have obviously our toaster, coffee machine, knives, little display marble board which is from Anthropology, and a reed diffuser and candle. This needs a deep clean. We've got uh, just quite a few like utensils and bits and bobs on the surfaces there on the side. But if I show you the cupboards, we've got all of this is like the Tupperware kind of cupboard. Um, there's nothing up in that one because I can't reach it. And then up here we've got sort of vitamins, treats, breads, that kind of thing. And then in the cupboards below we've got this central drawer which just houses like candles, kitchen foil, cling film, scissors, all that kind of stuff. Then this is our sort of main cutlery drawer which I want to pop a cutlery organiser if it fits within here. Um, otherwise it's, it's fairly organised but you know, could be better. Down here we have sort of oils, some alcohol, tinned stuff, packeted stuff and herbs which are labelled can so that's clearly wrong. In this bottom drawer we've got a lot of like crockery Le Creuset bits and then within this one we have some like old pans, well in fact not old pans, just some random pans in here and like serving platters and just, just random stuff, that's what our kitchen currently is. All in here is chopping boards and one of the handheld whisks just because it doesn't fit in the other drawers. And then down here we have just a load of like cereals, biscuits, some baking stuff. Excuse Barney's towel just drying here on the radiator. I've just popped these on here for now but I obviously I do want to keep this clear. I want to ideally have some worktop space that I can kind of style these up. These are my Primark purchases and B&M. Oh, I've got uh, labels for this actually. I was gonna put maybe granola in there. And then we have the washing machine, other bits and bobs here and in here is just things like bin bags and then the boiler up there. I mean, the cupboards and everything, the paintwork is a state, but obviously this is pre-renovation, this kitchen. So just excuse that if you're new to my channel. Um, we are renovating the house and building a new kitchen the other side of the house. So this will be ripped out and become a dining room eventually. So this is the other side of the kitchen. This section has a couple of boxes from when we moved in that we still haven't unpacked over a year ago now. This stuff that I didn't want to put in the basement, but stuff that I've not needed. So I need to have a sort through of those re really. So let's start with this cupboard here. This is for all of our kind of crockery and then up here we have all of the glassware and then on this cupboard we have mugs, coffee and baking bits. We have dishwasher here, this corner cupboard here with loads of cleaning products, far too many for me to need. The other under the sink cupboard which has predominantly sponges, cloths, spare tea towels, oven gloves, that kind of thing within there. And then down here we just have some pots and pans. And up here we've just got a couple more uh, like oven trays I think in there and colanders. Don't think there's anything in there. If there is, no, there's nothing in there. Good for storage up there. That one didn't have a knob so again it's empty. <laughs> empty storage that we could be using. But in fact, I wonder if I open that, I could maybe get to this. Maybe, we'll have a look. So yeah, this is the overview of what the kitchen is currently looking like. I get quite a few questions about this little mat which I got. I got it from HomeSense or TK Maxx, they have quite a few. It does have a print on one side, but I quite like the plain look. So I just keep it on this plain side and then here's a dog bowl with water in. Excuse me. <laughs> is from Danelm. Oh, thanks for the kisses. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. 
see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday been shopping yay so i obviously was going to share with you what i ended up picking up from natu how nice are their carrier bags these are definitely bags that i feel you can reuse use as your little shopping tote bags so they have two colors and she's like do you want one of each i was like yeah why not so they've got this gorgeous olive color i don't think i've seen this one before it's like a yeah really nice shade of green so even that I've seen on Pinterest in like utility rooms, boot rooms, hung up with, styled with flowers in. That might be a bit excessive for what is essentially a carrier bag, but you get given these, they're free. So yeah, I'm gonna repurpose and reuse these bags. I'll start with this one. This is a, the Arborath Jute Basket. This is the large size at 30 pounds. They had all different sizes, however, they were all sort of priced, I think, about £23, £26, £30, but they were quite a lot smaller, those ones. So I did think they'd be handy maybe in a bathroom with some toilet rolls or something. However, I thought for the price point, £30 for the largest one was pretty good. These sunnies, by the way, if you were interested, Gucci, I actually got these on Amazon. To be honest with you, I use sunglasses more just to put my hair back out of my face let's share with you the next item oh okay this one's not wrapped up this is i'm actually gonna start burning this next it's a new candle that i got in huxley the huxley range and it's the landscape scent this smells divine i think they had like a coastal one or something as well it's quite like i think um white company do scents like that where they've got town coast country oh my god that's so good top notes of pine needles that's why i like it so much green notes orange flower mid notes of fir balsam again nutmeg pomander and then the bottom notes are cedarwood sweet amber and moss this is me in a fragrance like my favorite kind of fragrance is that real earthy and also how nice is the packaging it's just plain and simple black glass with the Neptune Huxley branding on the bottom. So that's the first item that I, no it's not, it's the second item, I've already shown you the basket. This was 38 pounds, not cheap, but you know, I went and I had a me day, I treated myself. And then next up, I also got myself a mug. I am tempted in the future, once we've done the kitchen and everything, so that I don't make a mess of it all, to get the full set of the, let me just go check on the builders. That was loud downstairs, isn't it? He's not usually up here, so he's like, ooh. Yeah, mess. Um, anyway, so like I was saying, builders are fine. They're just uh, knocking through the house. Don't worry about them if you can hear them. The whole Bosley range, this is what it's classed as there on the bottom. So the mugs are eight pounds and they do plates, um, of which I did actually get a side plate. They do bowls and everything. Now I have got a set very similar from TK Maxx, so I am gonna obviously use that first, but we're kind of using it now. Well, I think what I might do, I was saving it for the future kitchen. I might start by just getting it out now, getting rid of the ones we've currently got, which are like really old Matalan ones from way before I even met Tom. They were his old plates, so. We'll get out the TK Maxx ones now, pop them in the cupboard, and then maybe invest in this range in the future. This is the side plate, it's £10. Again, bowls the side plate, dishwasher, microwave safe, which is an essential in this household. Can't be dealing with not being able to put pots and stuff in the dishwasher, can we? No. Are you gonna lie down here? He's licking my feet. <laughs> 
so yeah how cute is that i thought even just with like coffee and a cake just as a treat you could just get a one-off like i've done or invest in the full set because honestly it's beautiful i absolutely love it <laughs> oh sorry i've just hit you on the head oh yeah yeah i love you so much are you gonna sit down are you gonna watch the haul yeah you lie down go for it okay so next up oh yes okay this is three items i got a set of them oh god if we're talking aesthetically pleasing utility room these are an essential for that if you're that person that is a fan of good looking cleaning products well hopefully you're going to enjoy this video it seems that we're about to the whole kitchen organized then hopefully you're watching this thinking i'm not a lunatic <laughs> but anyway they have a whole range of laundry products and this scent in particular was the one that stood out to me rosemary and thyme this one is the laundry detergent sizes of these bottles are huge i mean it's laundry so i suppose you use quite a bit of laundry detergent and a fabric conditioner which is what this one is but this scent if you go in store to try it try out this scent because they have oh my gosh it's so good they've got soaps they've got hand sanitizers they've got washing up liquid in this scent which one of the ladies there she was like i just pop a little bit in my sink and then fill it with hot water a bit like how you would with a sephora and it just fills the room with the rosemary and thyme scent which especially for a kitchen i feel like is a great scent and then the last and final one is ironing water <laughs> This is a bit excessive, especially considering I very rarely iron. However, yet again, on display, on a little shelf, I mean, we're not that far off in the grand scheme of things, having a utility room in our basement, which when that day comes, let me tell you, I've said it from the beginning, that is probably the, ro the room that I am most excited to have, to style up, to use. I mean, I'm gonna be in there pretty much every day his dog stuff's gonna be in there it's all gonna be organized and i'm definitely gonna make sure that there's areas that i can style up whether it be shelves or um little pockets within cabinets or something that i can style up or worktops work surface areas that i'm going to be able to kind of put out these nice sort of products that they i can use them they're easy to grab at but i can also just refill them with whatever laundry detergent or whatever i'm using um at the time however i will admit this ironing water is probably going to last me a while so yeah that is everything that i picked up from neptune they have a color in particular that i quite like the look of called walnut that i was thinking for either the utility the kitchen cabinets maybe both and it's a real kind of brownie black um with the kitchen i've got in mind kind of like light cabinets a darker island light worktop so walnut if you see it another one was ink actually that was lovely they had um their kind of utility space that i showed within the vlog section that was painted in ink so it's kind of had a little bit more of a bluey undertone to it but it was beautiful they're all beautiful that's everything that i picked up from Neptune. i can't even tell you how happy these bags of shopping make me so i have actually managed to have a bit of a switch around which has allowed me to empty out this bottom cupboard here to pop some of barney's bits in there so that now on the top he just has this little station here so i've recently got this from b m just some dog treats in and then some biscuits in this one this is just a magazine that i picked up from crofts that i love the look of it's like a pet food company that had a little brochure like that um so i've popped that there along with this is his handy box of collars and leads bandanas and usually his dog towel however he's wearing it now because we've just been on a walk haven't we so now we just have this section down here which has all of his grooming products in here and then any other treats and bags and yeah kong toys all sorts of like treats mainly in there and kind of essentials that we don't need out on display and then that has also meant that i can put my toaster down here allowing for a bit of styling space here where i've got this candle and our google hub home whatever it's called i've got this little display tray this marble tray with this urban apothecary reed diffuser which i think is 
probably almost out. I've had this out for a while, but it smells lovely. And then this, which I need to get burning, the incense and embers from Jo Malone. But I kind of like it as a display candle for now. And then over here, I've got this little wooden spoon from Amazon. I like to use just as one of those like spoon rests. The Le Creuset pot with all our utensils in it, our little egg thing um these are all from home sense and this was from amazon that's kind of how i'm gonna have this area styled it's not too cluttered it's also not too empty let I me mean, look at that for an eyesore out the window oh, <laughs> portaloo for the builders it's the reality of living in a reno not only that but all of these kind of like lovely wall features we've got going on <laughs> And of course, all of our marks on the carpet from where we've allowed builders to just come in here with shoes on for ease and convenience. However, this is always going to be a no shoe zone policy. I'm, I'm putting my foot down, no pun intended. All of that is obviously going to get replaced with hard floor in the future. But for now, this is what this side of our kitchen is looking like. Then in this cupboard, I've also had a bit of a rejig around. Rejig around, rejig, move around, shuffle of all of the sort of bits that were in this cupboard. So it's now down to, this is our sort of Tupperware shelf. Then my cutlery drawer, I've had a good organize of as well, where I have got this new cutlery tray divider thing from Ikea in here. My phone's ringing. One second. Sorry about that. Back to showing with you what the drawer's looking like. So then this is the middle drawer. It's just all kind of compartmentalized into tea lights, scissors, Dymo label, cling film and foil and grease proof paper. I've just kind of decanted them. Still got some labels to use up there matches lighter straws and little ziploc bags and then this one now has all of our chopping boards had a mini clear out and sort out through this cupboard here where i've just kind of put everything within little containers to make it look a little more organized and then same with these drawers as well i've just again gone through them cleared them out and just made everything look a bit more neat and tidy and now time to tackle these bad boys never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I'm fast realizing that some of these items I think due to the renovations going on in the basement a lot of dust falls like well, pretty much in the whole house, the whole downstairs. So it's some of this bit, like this top section here at the back is quite dusty. So I'm just kind of wiping it down as I go. A lot of these things are from Donnell. So we've got the other little uh, matching duster and then these kind of dish matics. There's a sponge one, a brush one there from Donnell. These were two pounds each. Um, and as I'm going as well, I'm gonna take off labels this was a little B&M brush. I love these little scour pads as well. These were from Primark. So I'm keeping all of the neutral things. So it's actually gonna look quite nice because I've got loads more than I thought I had. I am gonna have a look at Denelm though, make sure that they do backups of this. You know how the Dishmatic, you can buy the reusable sponges to replace. Um, so hopefully they do. And then you just fill it like you do the Dishmatic. Super simple and easy and it's gonna look quite nice set out as well because you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take them up you know when you use wash up gloves sometimes your hands can get a little bit clammy these are actually really soft on the inside ideal for those with sensitive skin they've been dermatologically tested they're latex nitrile and Fathalate free so your hands are cared and pampered as you wear them so i do love them i also do have these gloves though they've got these kind of scrubbers on the side which i thought would be super handy i found these in home sense three or four pounds something like that whereas these i think are five pounds yeah home sense and lakeland for those to make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever and I feel so free Oh my sweet baby D 
did anyone see this brand on Dragon's Den? I thought it was so fun when I saw it. I was like, oh, I recognize that. I've actually already got one currently on the go, but I thought this would be a good replacement. It's quite good to have by the front door. They do loads of scents from a brand called Let's Sanitize, and I just love the look of the packaging. So this is hand sanitizing Oud Noir. How nice does that sound? It smells good too. I gave uh, Tom's mum one in lemongrass and sandalwood, I think it is. And it's like in a beige bottle. It's really nice. So recommend that brand. See, this is the problem when you have a cupboard that's chock-a-block full to the brim. Can't see what's in there. Totally forgot that this was, speaking of oud, black oud from Rituals Room Spray. Totally forgot that was in there. This is about half full, so I am gonna just spritz it, see if it smells nice, because it has been open for maybe four or five months. Does it say an expiry date? No, it doesn't have an expiry date, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to use on this one. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up because nothing. So, in this box, I'm basically popping all of the tea towels that I own at the front, which is quite a lot, but um, that's what they look like. The favorite ones of mine are just these plain waffle ones. They're from John Lewis, and they're, I think they're in the sale for £2 for two, I think. Yeah. But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colours and never respect drum Then I'm just popping all of my microfiber cloths that I've got in this little basket here um, And these are, well I'm starting with the biggest ones like the sort of this size The generous ones because they're the ones that I tend to gravitate towards first. This one here that I've got at the back, this one's from Dunelm and it is five pounds. It's from the edited life range, but look how big that is. And it's a really nice uh, texture. So really good for cleaning with. I have gone through one, but I used it a lot. So um, this is a brand new one, but I might actually pick up more of these to have. There we have my nice little basket of microfiber cloths. Then in this basket, I'm gonna pop all of my dish sponges, like things that will sit out on the kitchen for washing all the pots. I've even got this little maple leaf, autumn type one. But again, I've just kept all the kind of neutral and clean and brand new ones rather than keeping hold of older, grubbier ones because I've got all of these fresh ones. So why keep the why keep the old when I've got all of these? This set as well was one that I got from Home Sense. This set of three. And then I've also got a couple of magic erasers that I'll pop in here. And last but not least, I am gonna keep some dishmatic spares just because in case I can't get any of the spare heads from Dunelm, I am gonna go and have a look at some point soon just to make sure they do them. So there we have my little bowl of dish sponges, got a couple of spare scrub mummies in there as well, but I do already have one out on the go there. Doesn't quite need replacing just yet. Then we've also got in here my peg basket. This is from Matalan and inside here we have some of these bamboo pegs. Again, this little drawstring bag with wooden pegs in is from Dunelm. Got a couple of other like sort of everyday pegs in there as well. It honestly makes me quite sad, but this year with the builders, with the builders outside, I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to hang out my laundry, which is so upsetting because there's nothing better than freshly dried, washed laundry that's been hung out on the line, but never mind. Then in this last basket, I've just got a couple of miscellaneous kind of sponges, brushes. This is genius. If you have a pet for scraping along the carpet, it just picks up all of the pet hairs that the hoover doesn't get that you can just clump together and pop in the bin or hoover up. And honestly, it's so affordable. You can get them from Amazon. I'll leave one linked because it is genius. So every once in a while I'll just go over all our carpets with this good on the stairs as well again for just getting right in the corners. So that's just going to slot in nicely there. Lint roller as well. An absolute essential if you own a golden retriever. 
so that is gonna go in there i feel like that's gonna conclude the final look of this undercover the spare hand sanitizer and the rituals room spray can just stand there quite nicely here's to the good days here's to the sorrows this is a mistake i know about tomorrow I don't want to fight no more because I don't feel the need no more, no. I think I'm going to pop one of these Zafloras on the tray just out of its box. I've gone for Hello Spring, seeing as though today's video is very spring-like. Start of a new month. So I'm just going to pop that there, ready for as and when I use it. And then I was going to pop the um, hand soaps and things there, but I do quite like it on this stone tray that I've already got from B&M over this side. Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry lovely peace and quiet living with the builders you know it's just a dream because we both know it's gonna hurt but not as much as this does we had a good run don't say we didn't i was your first love and you were my first one cheers to all the memories the venom and the remedies yeah promise i won't forget So I've whittled down quite a few cleaning products to these ones being my sort of favourite, the ones that I like the look of, the ones that I feel like will look nice in the cupboard along with, um, so kind of basically being at the front of the cupboard. So I've obviously got my new Neptune laundry detergent, fabric conditioner and ironing water. I'm actually regretting not picking up a washing up liquid. I feel like next time I'm in, I might do that. I have got this washing up liquid from Primark, which I like the look of. So as soon as my fairy has run out, I'm gonna use this one. This is in the Invigorate scent. They have a few different ones, but this is, eucalyptus and yuzu fragrance so yeah that one's gonna go on the sink next then i love this glass bottle and this is actually my second one of these they come in and out of stock in zara but definitely check out their cleaning products when they do have them in stock because look how nice they are and they're glass as well which means they're refillable you can just refill them with um like the dunelm version or even just a cheaper one but this is or even zaflora actually would be quite a good option this is multi-surface cleaner from zara home and golden grass the actual scent of this one is lovely too then we also have these ones from denim this whole range i love they're all numbered as well so number one is the anti-back general purpose two kitchen three bathroom i've got five hob cleaner seven traditional glass cleaner and then the mattress deodorizer which i might even pop upstairs actually and then they even do a little dog shampoo they have a dog conditioner as well it's in the lavender fragrance and then these little duos of zara home fragrances i'm going to pop one upstairs probably this one this is in dark amber this is a linen spray so you can just spritz it on your curtains your bedding wherever really and um yeah i feel like dark amber will work nicely in the bedroom i bought that from zara home and then i saw this one in home sense 2.99 Quite often Zara home bits are found. I do find them in HomeSense and TK Maxx. Keep your eyes peeled for them. Green herbs I feel like is a good one for the kitchen. So I'm going to keep that down here. Yeah, $2.99 compared to the £8 retail price. Pretty good. Then I've got this little duo here of which I'm not going to keep both. I might as well keep obviously the white company one. This is the fir tree scent which obviously I used so much at Christmas and into winter as well but I might even just keep this one for next year now. And then this is the, I think this is the little dupe in frosted pine. Obviously Aldi do pretty good dupes too. I've actually got a candle burning back here which is pretty much finished actually. I can probably yeah that's done this one i've been burning every night it smells lovely it's the pine and eucalyptus one but anyway i'm going to pop all of these bits along with the other bits that i'm keeping back in the cupboard and show you what it looks like after it's all been organized oh, maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go and that's why i wish you the
Okay, can someone please tell me this is normal to have as a flora collection like this? I actually had a couple which had leaks that I binned as well. So yeah, this is pretty extreme, especially as the fact that most of them are Christmassy ones and we are not in Christmas. So I just thought I would quickly share festive fireside is a favorite of mine. I love that kind of smoky woody scent. Winter morning's nice and fresh. These two are lovely if you like the first scent, warm cinnamon obviously. This is quite a nice one in autumn, fig and cedar. And then this is my kind of more collection suited to now. So linen fresh for bedrooms and like wiping down surfaces in bedrooms. Cypress and sea sage is lovely in the kitchen um, and bathrooms as well actually. As is mandarin lime, lemon zing, cucumber mint. I love all of these. Probably in order, maybe mandarin and lime, then lemon zing, then cucumber and mint. But I honestly love all of these for the warmer months. They're my top three. And then I also have some pet friendly ones. I've got this one in Alpine Mist from Fabulosa. And then these two, the Mountain Air Fragrance. And then this one of the pet fragrances is by far my favourite, the Green Valley. It honestly smells like a men's aftershave. It's so good. So uh, yeah, that's my... I was going to say little Zaflora collection, quite hefty Zaflora collection. It's for the best and you know why. You gotta leave me here tonight. Before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt even more than this does. We gave it up, we had its time. To say bye, baby. Here we have it, the finished result. I decided to pop these um, brush and dusters on the back of this drawer, I forgot there were hooks there. So that quite handily fit quite nice. And then in this cupboard, I have everything organized into categories with all of, like I say, the nice kind of bottles at the front of them. So we've got all of our Neptune bottles there with the laundry bits, dishwasher tablets. On the bottom we've got some room sprays, the dog shampoo, some other bits um, in terms of like bathroom area, carpet stuff, Febreze kind of deodorizer, glass cleaners there, and then all of the kind of anti-back sprays at the back with some bin sprays as well. I also found a couple of these white tubs which I've just put smaller things in and little bits and pieces that kind of don't stand up and like wipes as well don't get me wrong i still feel like this is excessive but at least everything is now organized i can see where everything is and yeah i'm much happier well this is a bit different sat in our spare bedroom filming anyway i thought i would conclude this vlog like i did with the hello march vlog of sharing with you some favorites that i've been loving i've got a little list of things probably not as big as the last time but just a few things things that sort of stood out in that over the month I just kind of kept bookmarking oh I'll mention that because it's something that I've been loving so I'm going to start with some yummy treats seen as though it's spring Easter chocolate these I showed these in my B&M haul and okay I ate them within a day <laughs> you only get about seven in a packet and they're called the galaxy creamy truffle mini eggs i've not bought any since however i'm definitely going to go on the hunt for some and hope fingers crossed that they're not just going to be an easter edition and that they might somehow create something that's not an egg and bring them back all year round because these are incredible do you remember in celebrations they used to do a galaxy truffle that was one that everyone fought over they discontinued it they pulled it from the box it was probably too expensive for them to make whatever reason they pulled it i have no idea why this is exactly what these are. They are like them galaxy truffles. So if you liked them, if you were gutted when Celebration stopped producing them, go find these. The other yummy treats that I have been loving and yet again, another kind of Easter special are these hot cross buns. Now I'm personally not a hot cross bun lover. Controversial, I know. I guess they're like a love or hate thing. Maybe. I don't know. I think most people love them. Hot cross buns typically with raisins or sultanas, I don't usually eat. So when M&S brought out these, they went straight on my trolley and I've had a packet of each of these since. This is the, my second lot. 
uh, but they do have some others as well they've got bramley apple ones but they also have sultanas in they have the blonde chocolate which is like caramel i was very tempted to pick up those to try but i thought i'd just go with the ones that i've tried already to show you knowing that i like them so these are definitely more of like a dessert extremely chocolatey ones they've got little chocolate chips in as well so they are quite rich and chocolatey but you can put on some butter with them still or even Nutella if you want to go all out but these are my absolute favorite ones that they do the extremely cheesy ones so in here obviously no raisins or sultanas or anything like that but they are with mature cheddar cheese and red red leicester cheese worth checking out if you are not really a typical hot cross bun lover another thing i have been loving and actually been using at night time is this again from mns this is the restore hand cream it's quite um thick but it what i like about it is it um soaks into your skin quite easily and it smells amazing you know sometimes when you put on a thick moisturizer and it just like lingers or it feels sticky this just absorbs straight into your skin which i love so you can just carry on doing what you were doing without feeling like you've got cakey moisturized hands and look it looks like i've barely used any as well yeah i've used it every single night for a good few weeks this nivea soft moisturizer again i've talked about this before but if you are after a budget option for a moisturizer this is great you can get pots this size for about four or five pounds from supermarkets b and cherries wherever and this is for face body and hands so initially i always started out using the nivea soft on my face however now knowing how much i love it i've started using it more on my body my last monthly favorites feature in my last uh, start of the month vlog i mentioned my joe malone moisturizer that i've been loving the um in the glass pot ironically that same day as i was taking it back into my bathroom i dropped it i smashed it i was gutted as i'm sure you can imagine so i had to kind of decant it into another pot but i have used all that up now this is a budget alternative amazing and with summer coming up you want to get your skin nice and glowy and hydrated try Nivea Soft it's so good okay seeing as though we've talked a lot about cleaning with all like cleaning products and under sink cupboards within this video this duo is incredible I saw it advertised everywhere and I thought oh another new product yay yay this is so good I remember thinking I must include it within this favorite section after the first time I used it and I put out the washing to dry and I went what is that smell like where have, have i lit a new wax smell is it a new candle that i've put out where is that coming from and then i figured it's because my washing was hanging out drying and i just used this even tom commented on it he even he said what's that smell and i said it's the new washing thing and he said god it's quite strong so um yeah if you like a strongly scented cleaning product and i'm not really a typical floral kind of person but i think it's the vanilla within here that makes me love this i can't stop sniffing it it's honestly so good a little makeup product now the one that i have on now is from charlotte tilbury this is their lip cheat one of their lip pencils and it's in the shade iconic nude which is quite a nice brownie pinky nude i have got it on now and i just kind of kept it um natural just i basically line my lip and just fill it in slightly as well and then usually i put on some lip balm but i thought i would just leave off any lip balm just to show you what this color is like but it honestly is lovely usually as you guys know my number seven nude lip liner is my favorite i will always have one of those within my collection if they dare discontinue that i'll be gutted but at least now i've got a good alternative the only thing that i would say the only little negative especially in comparison to my number seven one is that because it's a pencil and you require a sharpener it's a bit annoying to have to sharpen it all the time because you know with lip liners they're at their peak they're at their best when they're freshly sharpened and that literally goes after one use so uh, that's my only sort of negative the one with the number seven it's like a screw so it's quite a fine tip always and you don't need obviously a pencil sharpener so that's i'd say why i still just 
slightly prefer the number seven one, but I'm so glad I found an alternative nude that I love. Next up is something that I have been loving in our bedroom. It is this incense burner set. I have bought this um, well, I've had this a while actually. It's from a brand on Etsy. I made from like a concrete finish. So they've got a bit of texture. If I show you a bit closer up, they've got a bit of texture. It's almost like a stone concrete, lovely shade. This one's like an off-white, creamy white. So these come as separates. This is just a little tray that I like to have the incense burner on just to catch any fallout, any kind of ash. And then the incense that I have been using at the moment is the um, Primark Relax one. Speaking of home fragrance and scents, this is something that I have been using in our kitchen every day. It's in the scent Wild Mint from The White Company. It's one of these little oils that I have been putting in an aromatic diffuser with some water and just making the kitchen smell lovely. In particular why I like this is because I feel like the mint, the wild mint scent works really well in the kitchen. So it's got peppermint and white tea in it as well. It just helps kind of neutralize the kitchen odor. So yeah, I've been loving that. And then I've also been loving these Aesop shampoo and conditioners. Now they did discontinue their shampoos and conditioners for a while. I'm not sure why they were reformulating them. They are now back and this is the first time I have tried them personally. I've got them more for the aesthetic in my shower, I've got the body wash. However, they smell incredible. There's nothing like having a shower with Aesop products and the whole room smells amazing after you've had a shower. Now this shampoo and conditioner I got in the scent Bergamot Rind with Frankincense and Cedar Atlas. Of course I can refill them with cheap stuff afterwards. Of course. The only thing, again, like if I was being hypercritical um, with these, and there might be a reason for this, so let me know if there is, but the bottles, when you're paying 30 quid a, a pop plus per item, I love the aesthetic, I love the look, but they are just plastic bottles. So I always imagined these were glass bottles, but they're not. I thought there would be like an amber glass, but maybe there's a reason for it, like I said, with it being a shampoo and conditioner with the pump maybe the glass wouldn't work for shampoos and conditioners. I don't know. But yeah, that's the only sort of thing that I would say if, it, if it's possible to do it in glass, I would have thought at 30, 35 pounds each, it would be in a nice glass bottle. Anyway, that's everything I had to share with you. I did just want to mention maybe TV, a couple of things that I've been loving recently. Firstly, it might be a bit of a surprise to you, the Formula One. Now, I don't know where this is, oh, in fact, I do know where this has come from. This has come from Drive to Survive on Netflix. It's a series that kind of was filmed like a docu-series style, real life, in the pit lanes during the Formula One. So I think there's been four seasons of it. So it started quite early on. The latest season was the best if you follow formula one you'll know why it was all dramatic and pretty intense but really enjoyable to watch as a netflix documentary so as a result of that i've got into like i know i know quite a few names i know i can put names to faces now not all of them but uh the fact that, that we there's been a couple of races on the sundays i've just been um keeping up to if i've not been sat watching it i've been on my phone just saying oh who's gonna win who's gonna win and then watch the highlights afterwards so yeah that's something really random that i've been into i don't know if i'd want to go and watch it i know tom actually has been to the abu dhabi one and watched it which sounds luxury and amazing and i'm sure it was but if you're actually going to watch the formula one it's a bit like horse racing i guess you get a far better view if you're actually wanting to watch the race just watching it from home. So I don't know if I've, I'd ever want to go. I'm not that keen. Um, but yeah, that's just something that I've been keeping up with, weirdly. And then what else have I been loving on TV? Gog Box, obviously, every Friday. Oh, yeah. And then Apprentice is now finished. Dragon's Den with Stephen Bartlett, I'm still enjoying. I still want to watch Killing Eve. That's a series that I've watched them all, but I've yet to watch the new season. What else? I don't know. Let me know if there's any recommendations you guys would have for me. I'm just trying to think if there's any kind of new... <gasps> Where the hell did that come from? Oh my God. That is the biggest bumblebee I have ever seen in my life. How am I going to get that? Can you hear it? It's like a bird. 
Oh my God, my heart and my car heart can't take this. Okay. Oh, freaking hell, it's big. I don't even dislike bumblebees, but this is big. Oh no, let me just try and get this. Where did it come from though? The window's closed. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna reverse out of this room, keep that door shut, leave the window open and hope that it escapes because that was terrifying. <laughs> what way to end the video thanks for watching guys thanks for sticking with me this long if you have made it to the end of this video excuse the mess in the background i need to actually switch out the sheets today so that's another thing that i need to get on with now um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed spending a bit of today with me and doing some cleaning some organizing some shopping there's been a bit of everything in this video so i hope you have enjoyed it let me know if you want me to continue doing these at the start of every month. If you enjoy them, do let me know. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.